Hey, what's up? It is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps, and I am looking for an iOS developer position. I talked before about my iOS job search. I wanted to do an update on sort of how that's going, the spreadsheet that I've got, the interviews that I have upcoming, how I'm approaching this, how I'm thinking. So if you're interested in searching for an iOS job or you want to sort of hit the ground running, this is my approach, and I hope that you find it's useful. Okay, so if we look at this, this is my spreadsheet. I've sort of got this interest curve that I talked about in my last job search video. I've got the companies that I've applied to, and uh, this is actually a new one I just found. Um, so I'll just paste that down there. And so I applied to 13 companies. One was a bad fit because they weren't uh, open to relocation or not, or remote. Um, and I'm really looking for a remote role. So those are what I'm focused on first because I really don't want to move and I like the area that we live. Um, one, I just got an instant rejection from this resume screening. So the browser company got turned down. That's fine. So one out of 13 turned down, one out of 13 bad fit. And three, is that three? Three, I have technical interviews. So this week I have three technical interviews that I'm a little nervous about because I haven't been doing as much of the uh, code challenge prep that I want to be doing, but I've at least started that and working on that. It's definitely a skill that you have to practice. I approached some of them and I was like, whoa, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'll probably do a video on, on one of those as well. So I'm practicing a lot of code challenges. Um, in order to build this list, I've just been using LinkedIn and searching iOS and then filtering down if it's like remote friendly, depends on what you're looking for. So just trying to find different iOS related things, trying to keep the title search term as uh, general as possible when searching on LinkedIn. And then you can copy and paste LinkedIn jobs, just clicking this little arrow and the copy link button. So that's a super easy way to find different jobs and then the other source of some leads, this hasn't been as, as useful as LinkedIn has so far, but you can connect with iOS engineers. And so this is a great option if you're looking for jobs and you wanna connect with different people at different companies, I highly recommend starting some genuine conversations with people at those companies, trying to get uh, an idea of how people feel about the company and just to start some kind of conversation so that you can learn more about the company. Um, the other thing that I'm doing, I think I have it open is iOS folks. Now this is like an invite only sort of iOS Slack group. There's other groups similar to this that you can find where you can find like minded people. They've got a job board. So I've been finding some jobs here that I've been applying to or putting into my spreadsheet and there's some stuff on interviewing here. So depending on where you are, you might have a local meetup group or some kind of online resource where you can find a Slack or a Discord of people who might be able to give you some of those intros. So yeah, so I've got three interviews this week on um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that's the update. Uh, I'll probably post more about how I'm thinking about my online portfolio. So if this is interesting, please like the video. You can watch my previous video in the link down below. And uh, if you want to learn more iOS stuff, I do have a tutorial on Swift UI that I'm going to be making so that you can learn how to approach and block out user interfaces. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.